Today we are doing some pretty exciting things to the giant saltwater pond. Recently the eels and the groupers absolutely destroyed the rock structure because the way they kicked their tails in the sand, all the rocks were about to fall over. So I had to get in the pond and just destroy the rock structure completely so we can redo the entire thing. So we're gonna be redoing the rock structure, making it look better than ever, and we are going to be adding a big boy, big time fish to our brand new saltwater pond. One that we've wanted for a long time and one that's gonna add a nice flair to the brand new aquarium. I'm super stoked about it. Let's get into it. Guys, I'm getting inside this pond because we need to fix this catastrophe that has occurred in the pond. The eels are about to knock over the whole rock structure, so we're gonna redo the whole thing right now. It's gonna look so good when we are done. I'm getting in here. Hopefully I don't get attacked by an eel. I think there's a good chance Chris gets back attacked by Green Warrior. Don't worry, I have the cream for you. Okay, good. If it happens, don't worry. Guys, check out that hat on my head. Hang on. You guys have never seen that one before. We got the fish guy tan getting restocked, and now we're dropping the gray. I'm telling you guys, this thing is sick, and it's gonna fly, baby. The eel is already coming at me. Look at the eel. The eel is extending his neck towards my foot. He would like to eat it off. Dude, be careful with that thing right I there. I need a net. Do we have a net or something I can battle with this thing with? Take a weapon. Okay, thanks. So we're gonna remove some of the cinder blocks out of this pond and we're gonna rearrange the rock structure so it's not gonna be sticking out of the water, but it's the safest thing to do because the fish are just gonna knock it over. So it's gonna look a lot better once we're done. Yeah, first let's get a fit check. Nice. Fit check, fit check. Nice. Raise the shorts, take the shirt off. Hell yeah. Pots is right here. I'm gonna have to grab that purple rock. It's right next to it. He's probably gonna freak out. Okay. Ah! He didn't freak out. He didn't freak out. No, he did good. That's good. Guys, we decided with the rock structure that it's best if we try and keep it low. As you guys know, it was super tall and it almost went tumbling down. So now if something were to happen where the fish were to knock into it or something, the rock structure won't fall from three feet up, hit the ground and put a hole in this liner. Because this liner honestly is very fragile. You can get holes in it super easily. So now we got a nice, still the same type of shape, but just not as high. The fish still have ins and outs to go through. I can see the panther grouper right now. I can see everything inside there. The eels, here comes the chain link. He's trying to eat the glass minnow. The fish still love it, but you know what? Now we can sleep a little bit better at night. Guys, take a look at the size of these flays here. Now this ain't tilapia. This clearly ain't shrimp. You know what this is? This is flounder, baby. We only feed our fish that filet mignon. I mean, this is for the human beings of the earth. Mm -hmm. This ain't for the succulents of the sea. But we give it to our fish because that's what they deserve. Look at that. I mean, if we were to throw that whole thing in the water, pots would absolutely pipe it. Fish, I'll be a waiter. Sir Jack, I have some nice flounder for you guys. Take a look at that. Here, let's feed this eel. Look at this eel. Here you go, buddy. Come on. That's a good piece for him. That's a good piece for him. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, my God. Over here. Oh, my God, Kurt Jack! Oh, my God, he has some. Okay, he ate it. Holy crap, guys. It's impossible. It's impossible to feed these fish now without the groupers eating them. It is literally impossible that eel just got eaten again. It's gone. It's in the stomach. No, it's not in the stomach, but he actually had it. Oh my God, guys, yeah, scared me. Pots, would you like a piece of tilapia? Oh God, that was this is, that's how flaky that fish is. It literally just broke in my hand. Who wants it? Oh, gentle giants. Gentle yeah. giants, guys, literally. They know that they're getting a new friend today. They're getting a new awesome fish. So they're trying to be nice and calm. Pots. Oh, we missed oh, it. Oh, Pan's got it. Absolutely crushed it. It's winky. That's Big winky. boy pans, dude. Big boy pans always cleans up the scraps. But the, lot of, the good thing is a lot of these flakes are going in the water. Panther group will eat it, and the brand new hogfish that we just added in here who's swimming around all in the rocks, he'll come out and eat all the scraps. Here we go. Here, here we go. go. Here oh, fight over it. It's who's quicker. At that moment, it's who's quicker. Who's got the faster tail? PG's oh, PG. Out. Come on. Oh, there he goes. Dude, that fish, I think, is getting more and more golden by the day. Get it, buddy. Go, 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 go. You gotta be fast. You gotta be fast. Yes! Oh, he amazing. got half of it. He got half. He got half. He got scared. He does get scared. I would get so scared far. too, dude. That guy's 20 times the size of him, literally. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Go, PG, go. Oh, it's so he, You know, he sees what happens to his eel friend. He got another one. He got another one. He did? Okay, good. Yeah, good, good. You want a flounder kebab? Huh? Yeah, you do. <laughs> oh my God. A little flounder kebab for the boy. Come on, PG, you see here it? Comes. Here it comes. Go here for it. comes. Here he comes. Go for it. Go for it. Yeah! yeah absolutely. Good chunk for him. I love that group. Really so good chunk for him. Oh, we can get that green Morial now. Go, go, go. Yes! Absolutely Suck it down. Suck it down. He's so aggressive when he eats. It's insane. You want a kebab? You want a flounder kebab? Yeah, you do. Dude, if we could feed him like that every single day, that thing will catch up to the other groupers. I hope so. 
We are gonna have to use this big boy to acclimate this fish. fish we wanna make shot. sure he's acclimated for a minimum of two hours, guys. And we're gonna drip acclimate him just because we know these guys are a little bit finicky. Let's unbox the brand new fish. He's gonna blow your guys' minds. I just wanna mention really quick that this bucket or this trash can really is Fish Guy certified. So it's actually, it makes your fish a lot healthier when you acclimate in a Fish Guy certified bucket. If you want a Fish Guy sticker for free, all you do is go to fishguy.shop, you put your email in there, Getting a free sticker with your order, baby. I got the fish. It's a big fish. Ah! And it's a different type of fish. Yeah, yeah, this is gonna, gonna, gonna bring some spunk. It's gonna bring some variety. Like, it's gonna look like a legit reef in there now. Oh! They had an extra big bag for us, because it's a pretty big fish. <laughs> oh, no. oh, oh, nice. Okay, so this is our fish here. He's sticking out it's of the, the water. It's uh, the coral on the thing, and nice. He's nice. sticking out of the water, actually. Oh! Look at this guy! That is a big boy French angel fish. Look how Dude, gorgeous he is. Unit. He's Such black nice yellow on him. and yellow and gray on his face. He's so freaking gorgeous. We see these fish all the time when we're fishing at the inlet and we always try and catch them. We've tried everything. We've tried shrimp, we've tried algae on the hook. We've tried literally everything. They're so hard to catch. I'll tell you what, they're hard to catch, but they're a lot easier to buy. Look at this guy, guys. This guy is so cool. I'm so stoked we're finally adding angels to the pond. Now he looks kind of smaller from up top when you turn him on the side and his fins like go really big. He looks pretty big. He's like me. He's he, bigger he, than me. Oh my god, I just got shocked by the water. How? I just got shocked by the water. I don't think I don't think you did. Chris, I just got shocked by the water. Do you have a cut on your finger? No. There's no electricity in the water. <laughs> this fish is gorgeous, guys. Absolutely gorgeous. Give him a hand representation. Like he's he's bigger than a hand. Yeah, he's bigger than my hand. Once his fins like pop out, he's bigger than my hand. So he's perfect. He's gonna swim around all day long in the reef, look really cool. Nothing should mess with him. He's absolutely gorgeous. Look at those tail, those fins coming out the back of him there. Such a pretty fish. I cannot wait to get him acclimated in the pond. He's gonna be just, he's gonna add a lot of movement. It's gonna look really, really cool in the pond, guys. So we got our drip tube here. This way we can get the salinity to the exact, exact decimal. Cause with these reef fish, with these tropical fish, they're not as hardy as like a grouper or an eel of something like that. So you gotta make sure you drip acclimate your angels. All right, we acclimated him. Drip acclimated him for over two hours, guys. We Literally. Really, we know these things are finicky. So let's get him in the pond. I got the GoPro ready to roll. It's gonna look so good in there. He's been on top of the water for like the whole time out here. He's been like sitting on top of the water, putting his head out of the water. Really just active, very active fish. Insane colors on him. I'm so stoked to have this guy in the pond. Hopefully he eats really well. And hopefully he thrives in here. Come here, buddy. Oh my God. Whoa. Don't they jump. Get, like, so big, guys. Really nice. Holy small. crap. Chris, where are you? Here he goes. Here he goes. Oh, he's in. He's amazing. Yeah. I love him. He's so beautiful. He is dancing around the pond. Now, this is going to be super cool to have this fish inside here because you guys can clearly see how vibrant that yellow is on him. He's dancing around. He's really speedy. And the good part is, is that he's going to be a swimmer. He's going to swim all around the rocks. He's not just going to hide in there like the eels and the groupers. He's going to be coasting all around the whole entire pond. And especially when we throw food in there, I think he's going to come out like crazy. He's going to be a super cool fish. We're definitely going to keep a sharp eye on him, make sure none of these groupers do anything towards him. And if we see something that we don't like, we're going to put him in one of these ponds behind me. But that is a super cool fish added to the freaking pond. And I'm freaking stoked. All right, guys, our brand new fish today. The pond looks really good already, but now we're adding some reef fish in there, some free swimmers. It's gonna look amazing in here. Remember, guys, to go check out fishguy.shop. We got some brand new stuff on the site, restocked, cut the plastic, and got some new hats up there. Stay tuned for new designs dropping this holiday season. We'll see you guys in the next one. Later. Peace.